Hello everyone and welcome back to Stellaris as the Imperium of Man where we're currently at war with the forces of chaos. This is the second Black Crusade so far that has been declared on us and uh, it's not looking good. We've already lost a couple of systems, one, two, three, four, none of which are particularly important but um, obviously one of our planets here was cut off and this was actually a really, really important system because look, look at their look at their fleets they're so powerful and then they have the star base if i had the star base i could have defended but obviously my fleets were so freaking far away finally we are almost home and we can actually go ahead and defend our planets now the problem is because of all the armies i've built we are spending a lot of credits actually it can't be just that it must be something else too uh, maybe it's because oh it's because we're over our naval capacity that must be it. But I wonder why. What changed? I honestly don't... I honestly don't know what changed. But maybe... Nah, we have the naval capacity here? Hmm. How about here? Well, we're still upgrading that one. Alright, well anyway. Um, I have found the cheat... That will allow us to pick the Ascension perk Mind Over Matter, even though we already have the Engineered Evolution. And um, yeah, there it is. We get the Latent Psionic Trait. I mean, it's about time. We already have the Chosen One, our God Emperor, who, by the way, he is 161 years old. And what? He's Talaran? Come on. No way. How is that? What? How does that make sense? How is he Talan? That makes no sense at all. I just realized that. But hey, whatever. Th there he is. It, it, this does not make any sense at all, but there it is. He is Talarn. Anyway, um, we are now going to have latent psionics within our empire. But the more important thing, we can build psionic. Or well, we can get the psychor Cy building end. We can recruit psionic armies. Mm -hmm. And that is a big deal because they hit hard. Now, I am still waiting for the gene warriors because that will be our Astartes. But our psychers can now be recruited. And I don't know. Can we just do that anywhere? Probably not. Plus, I need more shipyards. Thank you. Um, can we just do that like on Holy Terror? Can I just go ahead and recruit? Uh, apparently, I can't recruit anything. Uh, that's weird. Why is that? Did I mess something up? Not really. We have this template now, which I don't think we need anymore, right? Yeah. And these guys, we don't need either. So yeah, we've got latent psionics, extra research, extra energy, stuff like that. This should be cool. I don't know. I, th I feel like maybe maybe something like really wonky has happened now. No, we can still recruit forces. Okay. Okay. Just not on Holy Terra. Okay, now I can. Good. So, I don't know what happened, but it's fine. Anyway, so, yeah. We... I have recruited forces. I'm still recruiting forces here. We have good garrison, but... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We need to really get there. So, please. Also, Galactic Community, I'm just opposing everything. So far, this has not done anything. Like, there was a... Oh! Well, look at this. Just as I said it. Like, sometimes... Um... Sometimes that works. But, yeah. Usually, it, it doesn't. So, anyway. Okay, our fleets. Finally, they're gonna be ready. And we'll actually have some battleships to supplement them. It's gonna be good. Technology and then, secured. Okay, another technology researched. Okay, cruisers will be built faster. Nice, and some... Oh, this is actually pretty good as well. I want the Citadel, the research, the Gauss Cannon. I think Gauss Cannon is probably most important right now. Plus, it's relatively fast. Okay, can we please... I need... I need to upgrade. It's so necessary. All right, Erasing Mining Base, another special project that we get. Oh, and by the way, we have gotten a very interesting archaeological site here on Katakin. 
Um, because I did remove the jungle eventually. Now what we have is this, an archaeological site that was, yeah, found only after the jungle was removed. That was kind of interesting. Also, my science ship. Research that project, please. Oh, that is the Arasian one. Interesting. Um, how many will we then have? Oh, that is the last one. That is the last one we need. Oh, and I have actually taken this planet, but the Interacts are not yet willing to surrender. It's just, we're just gonna have to let that tick down, but they're not even like trying anything. So as long as we hold the planet, I think we're gonna be fine. Oh yeah, please, can we move here? Oh my God. All right, so it says 8.7 fleet strength, but by now, I mean, we have improved quite significantly. Complete. So, upgrade. And no, one of our scientists just died. That's kind of annoying. Let's see. Do we not have anyone better than that? Apparently not. We'll go with this guy, because we're kind of... I don't really have enough money to pay for more than that okay and then yeah this was taken as well luckily we have planets here so planets always allow us to hold like Talarn and stuff like that they actually allow us to hold on to these systems a little bit longer which is very good and um, we're not even being bombarded here interestingly plus i'm building a stronghold here just so that we can fortify a little bit better um we'll see if that works Right. Enemy presence exposed. Oh my god, they've got so many fleets. No, that's the wrong ship. This is the one. And we have our first battleship in here. Very good. So are you fully upgraded? You are still upgrading. Hmm. Oh, you're upgrading. I get it. Oh, okay. It takes some time. We only have so many shipyards. All right. Yep. It's just gonna have to take some time. But yeah, technology secure. We have more battleships coming as well, and there goes the invasion. We have advanced shields, so we can just keep go going with the upgrades. Gamma lasers, hyperdrive, oh particle lances. I mean, now we're getting into the good stuff. Now we're getting into the real good stuff. Okay, and there it is. Oh, look at this. Can we finish our stronghold? That will actually give us more defense armies. Oh no. And there goes the there goes the crash. I can't I please don't. I don't know when I s last saved. Oh no, this is bad. I don't want to Special click anything. Complete. Yeah, there you go. I didn't want to click anything because maybe the game would do it and it did. All right, good. So, El Cluster accessed. The Tau Empire has managed to remove the lockdown from the El Gate under their control. They now have full access to the distant El Cluster. As an apparent side effect of this, all the other El Gates in the galaxy are showing increased signs of acti activity as well. At the rate their self-correcting software is making adjustments, their maintenance cycles should also terminate within a matter of years. Okay, now we have finished our own archaeological project, which means we have found the Arasian homeworld, at least I believe so. Okay, but we're still crashed, Ching, or what? No? Alright, so hold on. One day... Where are my soldiers? Did we just get extra defense armies? I think we just got one extra defense army. Alright, anyway. Erasian home system has been located and that finally ends our precursor venture. I mean, look I've updated. never taken that long to get the precursor, but it doesn't matter. Um, you? What are you even doing? You're going up there for some reason. Okay. Um, yeah, there's probably a reason for that. Anyway, here's my science ship. 
Uh, there is there is the Erasian homeworld. Well, let's definitely go ahead and survey that system. Let's see what we find. And yeah, I mean, this is pretty clear that it cannot hold. I mean, yeah, the forces of chaos seem to be quite successful here. I've recruited what I could. Um, I mean, although this is pretty strong, though. 312... Maybe this defense army can do something. Yeah. Probably not, though. Nope. Okay. Yeah. It was worth a shot. Alright, so. We still have to wait for our navy to upgrade. Alright. Shouldn't be taking that much longer now. And our ally production is good. But we are going to lose that planet. Uh, we're just going to have to try and... You know, get it back as quickly as possible. What is our defense here? We will have... This is what we have. 28k. That That's all I have. That's my two fleets plus my star base. There's, there's not much more I have. Um, well, actually, that's not true. We have one battleship that's coming as well. Alright. Well. Situation is looking dire. And um, I guess we're just gonna... We're just gonna watch the planet be taken, right? Oh, we actually just recruited one extra force. That's awesome. Um, but Colony there it goes. By the enemy. And now refugees are arriving on Holy Terra of all places. No, we already have too many people here. This is not good. This is really not good. Okay. Well, I need to turn all of these into city districts in order to make this an Um... Plus, I don't have the minerals for this right now. Damn it, because I sold them. <sighs> Alright, well, then we can't really do it now. How about the Interrex? Oh my god, 9%. Well, I think we're going to be able to do this. Well, here... Oh, stronghold, and the Stronghold is now built for them. Okay, so there goes our tech world. <sighs> well, I mean, there's nothing I can really do about that. We just have to stay here and see what happens. It does help <laughs> with the rest of our stuff, though. So that's nice, I guess. I just wish we had Gordia back, to be honest. That's kind of a nice uh, place as well. All right. Well, um, I'm going to have to wait for our fleets to be ready. It simply takes... It just takes that long. There's nothing I can really do about that. So, yep. We'll wait, and then as soon as we can actually do something, I'll be back. Our second planet is now under assault. This time, Talarn is being attacked. And during the orbital bombardment, we lost two generals. And now, well, this is what it looks like. We have pretty much... We have Doom Troops that we're fighting. Well, that's that's a great name. That's a great name. And they have so many more reserves. And we have very good defensive armies here. And I actually have a military academy. Plus, we are construct like conscripting more, recruiting more armies. So maybe one more um, legion will join. But overall, I'm pretty sure that Talan is going to fall. Um, I did liberate uh, Krieg over here, and that means we have more legionnaires. Um, but I need to obviously take the star sips as well. The problem is, if I go too far, then we are leaving ourselves open for an attack which would be pretty bad as well so i kind of need to go back again but then at the same time i don't really have a choice it's really really tough um to do this here uh by the way we have apparently a peace offer between the tau and the prikiti i wasn't aware that they were at war but apparently they are and the aldari have submitted to the great khan and um now the khan i think is setting his sights on the orcs, if I'm not mistaken, and maybe even the Prikiki as well as possible. And then after that, maybe the Interax, who knows. But yeah, um, we obviously have our own war. We still cannot piece out the Interax, but really nothing has happened there. So it's probably just going to run its course eventually. Um, so yeah, we can focus our efforts on this war. If we hold, if Talarn holds, that would be a really big deal. I just doubt it. Why are... Okay, the orcs are now materialists. That is very strange. Why are defense armies not fighting? I'm very confused. 
All of the reserves are in now. Our defense armies, can they do this? I don't know. Three defense armies. It's it's so close. It's so close. I can't even watch. I can't even watch. But we're over here. Attacking, retaking that star base. Good. Now, I can take Ishion. Oh man. I can't. I can't watch. 200? Oh? Can we do it? No. No. Oh? Yes? Can Talan defend? I think Talan might be able to hold. We lost a scientist. Um, oh no, you gained a level, but we lost someone. Our Admiral died. Okay, well, that's bad. Let's go ahead and recruit someone new. Maybe a scout. Sublight speed. I actually don't mind that. There you go. And... Can Talan hold? This is the big question. Yes, I think it can! Yes, the Desert Raiders of Talan have defended their planet. That is amazing. That is amazing. I would have not expected. Is destroyed. Yes, very good, very good. Okay, so we are building more and our defense armies get some time to replenish. This is big. This is really big. Now, we can actually do something with this. We can actually do something with this. Okay, let's, um, let's send in my fleet and let's see what they do. If they continue to bombard, it looks like they will, which is okay. Talan held. Dude, that is like, damn, that's amazing. Now, obviously, if this was Kadia, it would be even better, but hey. The Talan Desert Raiders are pretty good as well. Oh, yeah, by the way, our first general died commanding the Desert Raiders, by the way. So that was kind of interesting. Anyway, uh, we're still not close to this. Now, the problem is I don't actually... I can't actually lose ships. If I lose ships, then it's very unlikely that the League of Anaxandor... Why would you open borders to me? That's very strange. Maybe because you're threatened? It's possible. Yeah, but um, the Interrex, they value my fleet strength, I believe. Relative navy strength. So if I increase that, we have more of a chance to separate peace. Or to just peace out anyway. And I kind of want that. The Tau Empire opening their borders. Are the Tau... Why? Are you fighting? I don't know if they're fighting. It's kind of hard to say. But wow, this is a big deal. Plus, now uh, Talarn holds... Um, it occupies these two armies or these two fleets. But our fleet is... Oh my god. We have... Like, it's so many tacks that we missed. It takes so long to upgrade. It's, it's insane. I have... Um, I have actually built... Yeah, the Astra Militarum is trapped. Um, it sucks. But I got rid of that planet, by the way. So, yeah. I do want to have Gordia back, though. That would really... That would actually be quite a help to have that back. But yeah, it's been so many upgrades. It's just kind of terrible. Um, I did build another shipyard here. So we now have four shipyards. I don't want to build more because then we will have no defenses. And I kind of need those as well. Alright, can you please take that one back? While Talan holds. And then, yeah, now we can actually try and make some plays around this, basically. While they're trapped there. Okay, our fleet? Nah. How is that possible? Our fleet has actually fully repaired. That's amazing. Okay, so, let's quickly check out our fleet manager here. We're building a couple, battle crew, uh, a couple battleships right now. We can build one more. Three. Yeah, that's 3k strength increase. That's actually not to be underestimated. Alright. Let's take this first. Very good. And then let's move on into here. I hope I'm doing this correctly. Anyway. Uh, we're so close. Oh no, and they're moving away. Alright. Never mind. Let's go back to Camglaria. 
I hope we can do this. Okay, they're returning. They're returning to bombard. Alright, I'm going to have to let them do that. I feel like. Let's go to Necromunda and take it this way. Alright, I'm going to have to bring my fleet over this way. Which sucks, but I just don't really have a choice. You guys go here. And by the way, we have the death core of uh, Krieg over here, which is pretty nice as well. But yeah, um, if we ever finish a battleship... What? Come on. What, what changed? This is frustrating. I have all of your stuff occupied. How do you not get war exhaustion from that? It's kind of silly. Maybe because we're at war here? It's possible. Oh yeah, by the way, this um, this federation declared war on on the uh, chaos as well. They, f they must feel pretty strong, which is kind of weird. Well, they are superior to me, I guess. Plus, then they do have their federation buddies. I guess makes sense. But yeah, they're actually helping us, which is pretty nice, I guess. Okay, um, let's go ahead and... Ugh. Three strength? I don't know. I, I actually don't feel powerful enough. I don't want to take any losses, because I can hardly replenish. But Talan is also being... Oh my god, devastation is quite insane. We do have some armies, but they're just being bombarded to pieces. We need to give them some time to rest. And we now have super high war exhaustion. And apparently it's 718 days that they have. Wow. Okay, end rivalry from... Okay, yeah, that th those are these guys. They have now ended our rivalry. Maybe we should do the same thing for now. Oh, we're not even rivals with them, apparently. Okay, well, then that's good. And open borders with the orcs. Yeah, I think they're actually now pretty much at war. They're inferior to us as well. Hmm, poor guys. Oh, and... Is this fleet gonna make some moves? No. They could easily reconquer this. I'm distracted now. I'm glad they're not doing it though. So, what do we say? We're at four now. Come on, we were at two before. Occupation, war exhaustion. And there is the Arasian homeworld that we have finally found. Okay, we find a relic. Uh, we gain some unity, minerals, a minor artifact action is unlocked and some physics research fascinating so let's quickly check that out this is our first relic the Yavorian Yavorian pox sample leader lifespan plus 20 years that's passive enables the pox orbital bombardment stance hmm. okay it's like a bioweapon sounds interesting and what does this do delve into the secrets of the Arasians Reverse engineer arcane technology. Break down minor artifacts or random technology bonuses. I feel like this is something the adapters could do. Proclaim superiority. Gain some influence. Xenophobe ethics attraction. A religious revelation. I think we're going to do all of this. Let's do this. Let's proclaim that. Reverse engineer. Arcane insights research speed for 60 months. Okay, and then maybe find a military application Combat drugs army morale army damage Harmonic isolation shield damage weak point analysis armor damage combat drugs. Yes, our soldiers will be more aggressive and terrifying That's what we need when fighting demons. I feel like this is actually not that bad. Okay, so now we're gonna have to wait for you guys to get around again, but then Do we actually have some battleships now? And they're still being built. So only three I can build? Okay. How much does it cost? 900. Construction complete. Okay, and the tower are now our rivals. Good for them. Good that they decided to do that.
But this... Okay, we have no more armies here. We could probably stop that. Because they're just bombarding it. Um, but Talan held once. And that was actually great. Now, you go ahead, build those mines. And yeah, I think for now, I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And next time, I'll come back and we'll hopefully be able to actually do something with our fleet and push back the forces of chaos. For now, that was it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.